Where did the characters move to the... Hey everybody, what's going on? Juan here. Welcome back to the channel. For this video, we are going to be talking about the PlayStation Classic because they officially confirmed each and every game that's going to be packed inside this tiny console. And the feedback I originally was going to say was mixed, but it's been largely negative because of the selection of games. But I was like, okay, I'm not just going to talk about it. I want to have fun with everybody. I want to do something different. So I am going to be talking about my reaction, but I'm also going to be playing Rayman on the PS1 because this is one of the games that's going to be packed into that console. And I think that when talking about nostalgia, when talking about going down memory lane, some of these games hold up, some of them don't. But before we keep going, here are the 20 games confirmed for the PlayStation Classic. Battle Arena Toshinden, Cool Borders 2, Destruction Derby, Final Fantasy 7, Grand Theft Auto, Intelligent Cube, Jumping Flash, Metal Gear Solid, Mr. Driller, Oddworld Apes Odyssey, Rayman, Resident Evil Director's Cut, Revelations Persona, Ridge Racer Type 4, Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo, I love that game, Siphon Filter, Tekken 3, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six, Twisted Metal 1, and Wild Arms 1. So while I play this game here called Rayman, I want to get your reaction. Let me know what you think about the the reveal, the list of games, if you will, because I'm not the only person that when I saw that, I went like, oh, I really want it. The price isn't really all that bad because mathematically speaking, if you summarize, you know, and you add all that up, it, it's over $100. So you're technically saving money by getting this, but the selection is questionable. You know, you do have your Tekken 3s, you have Ridge Racer, but you're missing, see, these are some of the games that I would love to see. Twisted Metal 2, Mega Man Legends, Street Fighter Alpha 3. You have Puzzle, but you're missing an actual Street Fighter game, and I think that combination's a little weird. But this is a game right here, Rayman, that I really haven't played much of, and I was like, okay, which game should I play for this video? I want to do something that's 2D, because I think... That was actually one of the strengths of the, the PS1. And a lot of developers didn't capitalize on it because we were obsessed that this is a new generation. Everything has to be 3D. And we know that when we go back down memory lane, a lot of these games, simply put, do not hold up. And I think that one of the reasons people have been so critical about the PlayStation Classic compared to something like the Super Nintendo is that the Super Nintendo there's not a lot of backwards compatibility. Physically speaking, talking about the physical copies of games, you can put a SNES cartridge on a GameCube or N64, but you could put a PS1 game inside of a PS2, inside of a PS3. So it's a lot more accessible, right? Sony, up until the PlayStation 4, we gotta clarify, they've been pretty open about that. So I think people's expectations about this was maybe like, hey, it's awesome that you put your Final Fantasy VII but what about something like Suikoden 2? That game is super expensive, it's kind of rare. You know, what about your Castlevanias? What about your Crash, your Spyro? And I get it. You're getting these HD collections, these remakes, these remasters, but this is where they came from. You know, th these are the origins of this. And I think that another one of the problems is that, of course, the PlayStation Classic doesn't have the analog controllers, which a lot of the games really did not use them for a while, but look at something like this, you know, let, let's actually focus a little bit on Rayman. This is a game that came out fairly early into the PlayStation 1 cycle, and it is a beautiful game. Now, it's worth pointing out, I'm, I'm not a big Rayman man, Rayman guy. Um, I played a couple of them. I played Rayman Origins, I think it was. I can punch now. But I never played this original one, so... I wanted to check it out because I had always heard about the difficulty in this game. And I'm a big fan of platformers. And I think that one of the big reasons, you know, you look at the list, Destruction Derby. I, play that, I played that game a couple of years ago. And the moment I did, I'm like, oh, oof, this is, this is rough. This is not nearly as pretty as I remember compared to something like the Super Nintendo Classic. You know, that's a little bit more forgiving because of the 2D, you know, the sprite-based animations. And also, you have Ridge Racer, but you don't have Gran Turismo 2. Like, I get it. Maybe you don't want to overcrowd it. But it's Gran Turismo, you know? How can you talk about... Uh-oh. Oh, oh this, is, this, is, this isn't going to go well. But how can you have a PlayStation 1 Classic without Gran Turismo 2, right? So, yeah, just let me know. Uh, what do you think about it? Do you think the price is good? What would it take? 
I think I'm a lot more excited for the possibility of a PlayStation 2 Classic down the line because I do think those games hold up pretty well. I mean, I made a video talking about my PlayStation 2 collection and I played each and every game in preparation for, for that video. And yeah, a lot of them were a little rough around the edges. Okay, that, that thing's on the left. I may regret this. No, I'm good, I'm good. But yeah, with all these consoles, I, I think it's, here's, here's the difficult thing. It's really hard to please anybody or everybody because you're gonna have your hardcore people that still have their physical copies of games. Uh oh, oh my goodness, this game's this game's something else. So you have those people, but you also have the people that casually play games and maybe haven't played PS1 games, you know, for for many years. And they look at this and they go, "Oh, Metal Gear Solid. I haven't played that. Maybe that they didn't even play Metal Gear Solid two and three. So they look at this and they go, "Okay, cool." You look at something like Ad Games, right? Ad Games is highly, highly criticized for the uh, bad quality ports that they have. So they still sell. And, and you even see the reaction. They still sell their games. And they have a market. And I'm really bad at this. We're going to try to get by this, people. I knew going in what could happen. And that's part of being real. That's part of being truthful to oneself. I was in the line that... Oh, PS1, I don't want to play any of that Castlevania Symphony of the Night. That's that's 2D, that's side-scrolling, that's old school, man. Not even old school, that's just old. You know, this is the new generation. I want some Castlevania 64. Then I rented Castlevania 64, and I went like, oof. Okay, so so that so that, that thing where they move side to side, they do the Mario, like, that's, that's a lot better than this crap. I, I think there was so much untapped potential for, for games like this, because you can make a game like this in the Super Nintendo. Maybe mechanically speaking you could, but look at the graphics in this game. You know, how beautiful it is. I don't know if you can run, you can hold the punch. This reminds me a lot of Mega Man, and I'm bad at Mega Man. And also let me know, like, do you like this format? Because... I love discussion videos. Uh, I do a podcast called A Cast of the Past, and like that's the type of content that I like doing, but I like to spread things out. I like to get creative. I like to do things differently, not always doing the same thing, and that's why I thought about this. So if there's any other topic that you'd like me to do sort of a combination like this, uh, let me know because maybe I can play some other PS1 Classic games. Hoping I don't die right now. I have two lives, so that's pretty good. And let me know if you played this game growing up and how quickly you got past the stage in comparison to me. Oh, come on, come on, really? Like the PS1 classic or hate it, you have to respect the fact that we are at a current generation where, yeah, we're talking about your Xbox Ones, your PlayStation 4 Pros, but you're also talking about, hey, you know, you can give away a PS1 for Christmas in 2018. How insane is that? And the fact that that's an accepted thing, right? As I mentioned earlier, we can never please everybody when we do something like this. And that our, initi in our initial reaction can't just be, oh, well, they didn't put this game in that game. It's 20 games. It's 20 games. Think of how, think of how many games. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it at the, at the beginning of the video. Something that I thought that they should add is like Mega Man Legends. Why? Because Mega Man Legends, yeah, it also came out on N64. I never played that version. But that's something different. That's something that the earlier consoles did not offer. And that's something, something that I enjoyed. So that would be pretty cool. And also pretty cool, I got past this dang stage. Let's see any, any other games. Uh, there's no Tomb Raider games in the PS1 Classic. What's up with that? As, as Hurricane would say in wrestling, what's up with that? The next topic that I wanted to bring up in this video is the actual replayability of the console itself. Because up until this point, we've had the SNES Classic, the NES Classic, all the ad games crappy stuff. And now this, how often do you actually plan on using these different consoles? And I think that's a real question because it is a novelty. Think about it. It, it is a novelty unless... Um, getting, getting to, uh, not necessarily legal areas. I know that a lot of people, when they heard about this, their first reaction was, how many games can I put in if I mod it? And I'm not trying to jump rope. Yeah, I was actually trying to get back up this. Oh my goodness. Because the NES and the Super, you know, uh, the SNES Classic are super easy to modify and add more games to it. I think it's going to be very different for uh, this one, because PS1 games are a lot bigger. 
They can be anywhere from 50 MB to like 700 MB. They can have multiple discs, but you also need to factor that in. And I'm, I'm assuming that when Sony sat down, they had a meeting with multiple people and they asked themselves, okay, so what's the best mixed bunch that we can have to make sure people keep going back to? And I think then when you look at the list of games, you have your, your dense games, right? You have Final Fantasy VII, Metal Gear Solid, you have Wild Arms, you have RPGs, but you also have these weird games like, once again, Destruction Derby. You have Cool Borders 2, which I get it. It's, it's just like a Jet Moto, 2 Extreme, 3 Extreme. Those are games that were part of the console, but I don't know how fun or how many times you would actually go back to that in comparison to the Super Nintendo Classic that I think offered a ton of games that people would love to go back to time and time again. But I don't know what's happening right now. Okay, okay. I'm actually live. Is that a boss? Oh, I'm at a boss battle. Okay. So let's do this. I've really been enjoying this. Aside from me being terrible, uh, I really dig this game. There's so many Rayman games that I just haven't touched, and, and I don't know why. I really need to. Got him. Are we good? Are we good? Uh oh. Music's changing. You know, okay. There's actually a health bar. I just noticed that at the bottom left. Oh no! No, come on, I totally punched you! Oh, I think he's done. He's done. Yes! Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I thought he was about to get me here, but... What's he doing? Oh, look at that, they're friends now. Oh, they just high-fived! They just high-fived and they're hugging now. It's like you and me, we, we can hug, we can talk. Oh! Okay. This is, this is very much a thing that would happen with a lot of platformer games that would have these different stages like this, so let's play it out. Okay. Let's... Part two. Part two. Second time's the charm, as people would say. Talking about PS1 platformers, can you name a few that you think are pretty good that are 2D side-scrolling? Honestly, I have a hard time pointing that out because because as I mentioned it was not the thing I would play at that time So I just don't know. I know there's like Klonoa And there's like the Metroidvania stuff but Okay, so I don't think you can actually take those guys down see and, and I'm making a bad habit out of trying to use the analog sticks right now I don't know if that was part of the original game or not, but Using the D-pad for this area is a little annoying. Because the character has like, there's this delay that was not earlier. Like it was not there earlier, but it is in this flying stage and it's, it's a little weird. Okay. I'm really hoping I get by this stage because otherwise I'm gonna be a little embarrassed. And, and I almost made the same mistake again. Oh boy. Oh boy, I'm getting some turtle vibes in this game. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, come on! Oh, oh! Win or lose, this is it. Why did the characters move to the... I talked about the PlayStation 1 Classic. Everything else right now is simply a bonus for this video. So you get to witness my torture, but... I, I like this uh, format, uh, so if you guys like it as well, I'll definitely do it a couple times. Not for every video, because it's obviously difficult to have a discussion video when you're also playing it. If it was two people, and I've talked about this uh, possibly happening with you know the, the team from a cast of the past, maybe doing something like that, and that would be different because, and, and I can't believe I just did that. Because, you know, somebody else is also talking with you as you're playing. Oh my god. And thank you to everybody that's been watching the, the recent videos. I've seen a lot of great comments talking about the pre-orders video. I was very happy with how that one turned out, talking about uh, why do we pre-order video games? I list out a couple of reasons, and I did it again! It's like that color, instinctively, because it's like gold, I'm tempted to touch it. And also the PlayStation 2 collections video, because I had a PS3 collections video that I did earlier, 
and uh, I was very happy with how that turned out. So I was very happy to do a part two. And you're dead. You're dead. Holy speed, dude! I mean, he can't even hold on to the thing. This isn't fair. Oh, dude. Oh, screw. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I I, I can't take any more of this. I like the game. I guarantee you I would do a lot better if I was not recording, and I know you're gonna be like, Juan, that is a cheap excuse. It is. It totally is. But that, my friends, is how I'm gonna be ending this video. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you enjoyed this conversation. Once again, let me know what you think about the PlayStation 1 Classic. Do you think that this batch of games is a good initial thing? And let me know uh, which games would you take out and which games would you put in easily i would take out something like ridge racer type 4 which i know is a good game but i would replace that with gran turismo 2 because as i mentioned when i think about the ps1 i think about gran turismo 2 so let me know what you think about that in the comment section of the video you can also help support the channel help make us grow become bigger better and better than ever before by subscribing sharing the videos following me on social media epic jc don't forget about a cast of the past we publish a new episode every Sunday. One episode is extended about an hour plus in length. And then the episodes in between are anywhere between 20 to 30 minutes. Once again, every single Sunday, a cast of the past also available on podcast apps by searching for a cast of the past and clicking on the sword and stone logo. You can also follow my wife and myself over at press pause TV on Twitch. We stream on Tuesdays, Thursdays and the weekends. Judging by this, you know that my my game playing abilities, I'm a gamer. I enjoy playing games. That doesn't necessarily mean I'm very good at them. So until next time, thank you for watching, supporting, and never forget, folks, that this video has concluded, but the epic journey definitely continues. So thank you for watching, gang. Take care. Nope.